Hi there, Dan Andrizzi with Remax in Santa Clarita bringing you the most current market update for Valencia, our real estate market update. Uh, we're going to be specifically looking at uh, nine, uh, Valencia 91355 and 54 uh, today. Uh, today is October 16th and the MLS just released our statistics for last month for September. So that's the month we're going to be looking at, September 2012. Uh, comparing some numbers to last month in August and also this time last year to get a good idea of what kind of trends we can expect to see in the upcoming months here. So uh, real quickly, our one of our most important statistics is the total number of listings in Valencia at this time, it's below 100. We're at actually 94 available listings in Valencia. Uh, that includes condos, townhomes, and houses. Uh, this time last year, we were at 256. Last month, we were at 108. So a significant drop from a year ago and a good more than 10% drop from just last month. Uh, all signs pointing towards price appreciation and seller's market. Uh, and quick side note, uh, I've been sort of on this bandwagon for the last few months here uh, telling people that a seller's market is on its way, it's here. Uh, right now I believe firmly we're in the midst of it. Things always change, doesn't mean it's going to continue, but the trend that we've been seeing is a low absorption rate, uh, meaning month inventory, uh, very little inventory, low supply, uh, price appreciation, decreased days on market, uh, and the bottom line is every, for every decent listing out there, there's 15 buyers and they are selling for over list price. Uh, so uh, good, good uh, piece of information if you've considered selling, if you're thinking about selling. Uh, this time uh, uh, last year, our average sales price in Valencia was uh, $371,000. Uh, again, that includes condos, townhomes, and homes. Uh, our average sales price uh, currently is $433,000. So we're looking at a $62,000 increase in the average sales price in just one year. Um, our average list price is uh, $589,000 and our average list price this time last year was $508,000. Uh, another important statistic is our month's inventory. I touched on that a minute ago. Uh, we are at 1.5 months right now. Anything below four months is considered a seller's market. 1.5 months, meaning if no new homes are listed, we will be completely out of homes to sell in six weeks. Uh, that's a very strong seller's market. So when you look at all these statistics uh, in conjunction with each other, increased uh, list price, which is also translating to an increased sales price, uh, decreased time on market, uh, last year it was 110 days from list to close. Currently we're at 86 days. Uh, decreased number of options out there. Last month, uh, excuse me, last year 256, right now 94. And our month's inventory has gone from 4.7 months last year to 1.5 months. So uh, again, strong seller's market. Uh, what this means if, if you're a buyer is to go in with your best foot forward, you're gonna be competing against people. If you're not competing against people, uh, it's because the, the listing you're looking at is ridiculously overpriced. <laughs> so, uh, all good things. Uh, what I really wanna hammer home is if you have considered selling, if that's in any way of thought that, that you know, might benefit you and your family right now and you're, you're tossing the idea around, give me a call because now, as I've been, as, we, as we've seen, there are very few options out there. It's a great time to put your home on the market, sell it for over list price. You know, obviously we don't make blind promises without seeing your home. Uh, however, uh, according to my track record and what I've been seeing with my colleagues, uh, it's, it's happening uh, quite frequently. So uh, in any case, hope that was helpful. Uh, stay tuned next month for our October update. And if you have any questions, anytime, call or email daniel.andrizi, <clears throat> excuse me, at gmail.com. And 661-904-3736 is my personal cell phone. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.